Hello, I'm Robert Lenti from Course Creek, we're a boutique agency that helps coaches, authors, thought leaders, public speakers, L&D departments inside companies monetize their expertise. And we help create, design that content and then implement it into learning management systems and everything that's involved, the full tech stack. Now, in addition to that, when the courses are built, we also go beyond that and introduce a highly skilled team of marketers, digital marketing folks that then can then help you drive traffic and um, get you in front of your potential audience. So what I want to talk to you today about is what I perceive to be the four kinds of marketing services you might be discussing with your vendor when you get to that point. Now, I'm going to press this by saying I am by no means any kind of digital marketing guru. And so if you're interested in digital marketing, I'm going to put you in touch with one of our experts that are really great at that stuff. But after having done it for about six years and sitting in on a lot of meetings, here's what I've taken away from it. The four kinds of marketing that we're going to talk about are SEO, paid advertising, social media, and lead generation. Okay, let's start with SEO. SEO, search engine optimization. There's two kinds of SEO that I'm aware of that we work with. One is meta or on-site SEO. That is that our specialists would go into your website. And it, if you've ever noticed, if you've been into the back end of a page or a blog, you might notice that there's settings in there that says, what's your meta? What's your title? And search terms and that sort of thing. That's the meta. So when we go into the back end of your website and we, we update all of those settings and we try to make the titles, you know, high, highly searchable titles, and we put in the headings and that sort of thing, that is meta SEO work. Okay. It's important. Typically we'll do that when you're done with your project, it's one of the first things we do in SEO. The second thing that we do with SEO is content creation. That's the long haul. That's really what you want to get to. And that is the, the composition of highly persuasive articles and blogs. Okay. That must be written by specialists that are getting your point across, getting your lesson across in your article and your blog, but doing so in a way that it sucks in a lot of traffic and it can actually you know, magnetize traffic into your site. Here's one of the important lessons about SEO that I've learned along the way. SEO is probably in the long run, your best value. I've never been in a marketing meeting with experts and ever heard anybody say, don't do SEO. Don't write articles. Don't write blogs. That doesn't happen. If you're on a budget and you can only do one of the things that I'm recommending today, it might be SEO would be the best way to do it. Okay. And in the long run, like investing in Microsoft, it's going to pay off well. What SEO is not really great for is a quick win. Okay. It's not a way to get sales quickly. All right. Yeah. I mean, it just takes at least 90 days just for the the bots and the crawlers to even recognize your content. So thumbs up for SEO, any kind, anytime you can do it. All right. Next genre is paid ads. I like to call it payola. All right. Where you take a lot of dough and you give it to Facebook, Google, these companies, and you pay to get in front of the line and get people to see you. Now, the advantage of paid advertising is provided that you have the right team working for you that knows what they're doing. It is the best way to get a quick sell. So if you're on a launch campaign and you want to break even and you want to get conversions quickly and you're not interested in the long haul SEO or you want to augment that, it's paid advertising is the way you get there quickly. But here's the risk with paid advertising as I've seen it sitting in my position. And the risk is we don't know if the campaigns and the ideas and the messaging will work every time. We only know until we can actually pay for the ads and get down the road about three or four months, at which point you can then collect the data, do A-B testing if you need to, and figure out what messaging and what ad is working. Okay, so paid ads are not cheap. You're going to have to invest in the service with the agency, the provider. You're going to have to pay Google and Facebook um, for their service. So you're doubling down on paying that way. And you have to commit to 
to uh, three to four months of doing it so that we can collect the data and, and, and tweak it and tune it, optimize it, and make sure it's working and make sure that the messaging is working. So in some sense, paid ads are for people that can afford it. And it's a polite way of saying it. It's not, it's not inexpensive. Next is social media management. Now, social media management can generate some sales, but that's not really what it's about. It's not about generating sales. Social media management is really about building a tribe, getting followers, brand awareness. If you're a new brand, you want to make these, this, you know, this content and post on a regular schedule to introduce your brand to people, keep it on, keep it in the top of their minds. Uh, social media management also requires a specialist that will regularly post content, content like I'm making today. Okay. So you're going to have to do something like this. You got to make videos, you got to do memes, uh, still shots of that sort of thing. So your social media manager can help make that for you and they'll post it for you. And my opinion, social media is sort of an augmentation. It's a side hustle. It wouldn't be the first thing that I would choose to do if you were on a budget. And the fourth kind of lead generation would be um, automated outreach on LinkedIn. Okay. If you're a business that is looking for other businesses, B2B, there is no better place to find the perfect profile, the perfect avatar of your clients than LinkedIn automated outreach through specialized software. This is a service that we offer. It's also a service that we use for ourselves. And it's my favorite of the four. Why? Because it is um, very genuine. It's very real. You're talking to real people. You're building a real connection with folks. And that's super important to begin that path of building trust and helping them with their problems. There's no roll the dice luck involved. It's not gimmicky. All you have to do is have some great automated software. We can provide that for you. If you're willing to sit down for 10, 15 minutes every morning and take a look at what the software has brewed up and engage with people, you will win. Guaranteed, you will get meetings, you will get business through that approach. All right, so let's review. We have SEO, you always want that. That's a no-brainer. Paid, great. Really fantastic. We'll get you sales quickly if you can afford it. Social media management, probably an add-on, not the most important, but it is great if you want to build a brand and create a following. And then the last version is lead generation, in particular, LinkedIn automated outreach, which is my favorite because you get in front of real people that are your perfect profile and you build real connections and it just doesn't get any better than that. If you're short on a budget, then what I would recommend is LinkedIn, if you're B2B, LinkedIn automated outreach would be the first place I would go, okay? And if you can afford one more service, it would be SEO. So my two favorites, the ones I'm recommending are SEO, and if you're B2B, LinkedIn automated outreach. Hope this is helpful for you. And um, contact us if you have more questions and you'd like to meet one of my experts in this field. Thanks. <laughs>